When it comes to opening night, Broadway has nothing on Broad Street. The curtain's about to go up on another season of ECU basketball. Shaka Smart and the Rams are the stars of this show, playing in front of another packed house at the Rockus Siegel Center. Home to Havoc, the highly acclaimed brand of basketball that thrills the Ram Nation and terrifies opponents. BC is now part of the Atlantic 10 Conference, but the goals remain the same. Be the best, win championships. The season opener's moments away, VCU versus Florida Gulf Coast tonight on Ram TV. Welcome to the Seagull Center alongside my broadcast partner, Rodney Ashby, a former VCU basketball player. I'm Greg Bird, and we're thrilled to have tonight's season opener. And Rodney, don't expect any opening night jitters from the Rams. This is an experienced bunch. It sure is. Eight of the first ten players you're going to see tonight have been here and done that, including two very big contributing seniors, Troy Daniels and Darius Theus. We're going to get more on those young men uh, coming up in a little bit. Florida Gulf, Gulf Coast is a team that VCU has never played in their history they have some experience coming into tonight's game they do they have five seniors coming back from a 15 win team last year and in addition to that a transfer from iowa state that's going to sneak into the starting lineup so they're going to be here and ready to play but they have never seen the brand of havoc they're about to see tonight here at the Seagull center let's take a look at the keys to tonight's game ronnie you know vcu is going to have to come out and introduce florida gulf coast to that havoc style defense and that both teams are going to be high paced tonight but it'll be important for the rams to out athletic size and be more physical than florida gulf coast to put it together and what do the eagles need to do tonight to hang in there with the rams where well, they're going to be out to handle the pressure i mean that is the biggest thing if coach smart and his staff can get their team to get 30 turnovers like they like they have been it's going to be a long night for florida gulf coast players to watch tonight there certainly are a lot on uh, both teams but uh, let's pick two to uh, keep an eye on the evening. let's start with troy daniels had 94 three-pointers last year for vcu ready to come out and expand on that again tonight and then for florida gulf coast they have sherwood brown sherwood is a phenomenal player last year was a mid-major all-american welcome back to ram tv openings tip just seconds away let's set the starting lineups Starting with the VCU Rams in the backcourt. Darius Theus and Troy Daniels. Travion Graham on the wing, and then, of course, the two big bodies, Javante Reddick and DJ Haley. For the Florida Gulf Coast Eagles, Brett Comer and Bernard Thompson will be in the backcourt. Sherwood Brown, a name you're going to hear a lot. He's the go-to guy for Florida Gulf Coast. And then Eric McKnight and Chase Feeler. Florida Gulf Coast wearing their road blue uniforms, trimmed in green and white. The Rams and the home whites trimmed in black and gold. A sellout crowd here at VCU. Atmosphere electric with the 2012 season moments away. DJ Haley and Eric McKnight for the opening tip in the 2012 season's underway here on Ram TV. Darius Theus wearing some of that Kinesio tape on his left shoulder. Got banged up just a little bit in the exhibition game against Virginia Union, a game that the Rams won by 50. Theus, around the horn to Travion Graham, back ahead to Reddick, kicks it out to Troy Daniels, first three of the year, clanks around, no good, rebound, Eagles. Florida Gulf Coast coming out in a zone. I think the Rams thought they might have come out and play more man-to-man -to -man tonight. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Feeler throws it inside to McKnight, kicks it back out to Bernard Thompson. Over to Chase Feeler. Feeler drives, laying in, no good. Rebound, McKnight slapped away. Thompson scoops it up. Floater, no good. Rebound. Florida Gulf Coast did a good job on the offensive glass, but it goes out on blue. Rams will get the ball back. McKnight keeping active on the board right there. Transfer from Iowa State, Greg. Didn't get much time there. Only about four minutes a game, but sat out last year and happy to be on the uh, Eagles team this year. Travion Graham with a three. Bingo! First points of the season from the sophomore, Travion Graham. And Florida Gulf Coast does the right thing and gets the ball in very quickly to try to avoid the Rams getting set up into their, their Havoc-style full-court defense. Everybody knows Rams love to press on makes. They'll press on misses, too, but they're going to press on makes. Couldn't get it there. Comer, the lay-in is good. Nice. Comer slashing down the lane for the bucket. Yeah, nice smart play right there. That's what you want to do if your defense is overplaying you is take one step into their body and then cut back door. Ball knocked away by Bernard Thompson. Rams will retain possession. Our officials tonight 
Joe DeMeo. This is his final season as a Division I official. He's been doing it for over 30 years. Good luck to Joe, Wallace Rutecki, and Mike Asher. That's our officiating crew tonight here for the season opener. Daniels over to Graham. Daniels at the top of the key. Theus, Thrash, try to get the floater, knocked away, turnover Rams. Scooped up by Thompson. Rams a little sloppy early on. Comer throws it inside to McKnight, swatted by DJ Haley. Nice block by Haley, Rams running. Daniels, look across at the, half court. Look at the big man get down the court too. Haley, right after the block shot, energized, sprinted down to the block, but couldn't get it to him. Reddick at the high post, kicks it out to Theus, who looks back to Coach Shaka Smart. Barks out the play, and now Theus will run the offense. He's the quarterback, he's the team leader this year for VCU. Reddick around to Daniels. He's a three-point machine when he gets hot. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Theus thinks about a three. Looks again, five on the shot clock. Files it up, rattles around. Reddick crashed the board. Who to go down on last touch by Florida Gulf Coast. Rams will get a fresh 35. First substitution, Briante Weber will come into the game. T.J. Haley comes out. Haley comes in. I mean, it's usually that's standard for him, about two and a half minutes before he checks out. Bree comes in. Where do you see the energy this super sophomore brings to the court? Yeah, this is one of the preseason A-10 defensive on the de all-defense team. He's exciting to watch in the top 25 in steals last year in the country. And he slashes the right hand, good! He's not all about defense, Rodney, right? No, he's polished that offensive game up. Very nice teardrop right there by Briante, right in the middle of the lane. Maynard-esque, we like to see, and a turnover. As you see, bodies flying. Weber, slashing, kicks it out. Graham, thought about a three, good ball fake. Baseline jumper a little long. Rebound, Bernard Thompson. Running the floor, top to, that's a charge. Great job by the team leader right there, Darius Theus. Saw him coming down out of control out down the court. Stepped in there and took the charge. Among the goals each and every game for Shaka Smart's team, he wants to see them take three charges a game minimum. There's number one. It's part of that Havoc style. It's part of being aggressive on defense. It's hustle stats. That's what he calls them. Blocks, steals, and taking charges. Darius Theus with the basketball, running the offense, top of the key. Scoots it over to Graham, shake it bay. Theus now gives it up to Weber. 15 on the shot clock, lost the handle. And they're going to say Bree touched it last. Florida Gulf Coast will get the ball. They're going to get their first substitution. Eddie Murray coming into the game. No relation. A red, a red shirt senior out of North Fort Myers, Florida. He checks into the game. And Murray was a starter last year, but got bumped out by McKnight coming in the, from the transfer. So he's played big minutes for the Eagles. Expect not much of a drop off here. Almost another turnover there. Feeler has it. Cross court to Sherwood. Brown, who's really the go-to guy and has had not one look so far in over four minutes of action. Thompson fires it up. Air ball. There's Brown with the rebound. Easy bucket for him. It's 5-4. VCU has a lead. 16-04 in the game. There's Reddick. Short baseline. Jake good. Nice baseline jumper right there by Reddick. And good ball movement right there as well. Javante Reddick's worked on that short little jumper a lot during the offseason. That's what we call the short corner, Greg. And that creates good spacing, too. So it was a very nice play right there by the Rams. Sherwood Brown, now he's driving, loses the handle. They're going to call a foul. And this is probably going to be our first dead ball timeout. 15.38 to go. VCU 7, Florida Gulf Coast 4. Quick timeout. We'll throw it to break here on Ram TV. VCU TV is presented by Barnes & Noble at VCU, the official retail store of the Rams, and online at vcubooks.com. And by the Make It Real campaign of Virginia Commonwealth University. We're just a little under five and a half minutes into this, four and a half minutes into this one. VCU with a seven to four lead early on. Rams certainly gonna look to dial up the pressure, trying to do that on makes. Looks like Florida Gulf Coast is prepared for it, really pushing it after VCU makes a basket. Yeah, they're very similar type teams, teams, Greg. I mean, they both teams want to push it up the floor and want to get high high in the numbers. I mean, the magic number for VCU is 65. They've 
They've run 21 straight if they've hit 65 points or more. But Florida Gulf Coast is a fast-paced team as well. They're not going to try to take the air out of the ball either. More substitutions for the Rams. Rob Brandenburg checks in, as does Jared Guest. Guest is a guy who didn't play much last year. He's a true sophomore out of Columbia, South Carolina, and he opened a lot of eyes in that exhibition game against Virginia Union, Rodney. He sure did. He was one of the players that worked the hardest over the summer, and Coach Smart rewarded him that with a start against Virginia Union in the exhibition game, and he played well. He he really earned his minutes coming into this next game. Did a real nice job in zone against the zone for Virginia Union in that high in that high post area around the free throw line. At Sherwood Brown on the line for the Rams, he was fouled by Briante Weber going to break. He makes them both, so the lead is down to one. VCU 7-6, 15-35 to play. Briante Weber up front with Theus out of the game. Bree's going to run a little point. Brandenburg can too. And these will be important moments as well, as well as when we see Oka Rayford come in and play point. We need somebody that can play that point and keep the Rams steady when Theus is getting a few minutes on the bench. This is certainly a high-energy lineup on the floor for the Rams. Bree, 10 seconds on the shot clock, forced the pass, picked up by Guest, seven on the shot clock, looking for help, directed traffic, five on the shot clock, Weber's gonna have to fire one off, cross court, Brandenburg, three with one on the shot clock, no good, Guest with a rebound and stick back, no, then he tries to slam it home, no. Great hustle right there by Guest. I know Coach Smart would have preferred him just to put that back in, but good hustle right there by Guest going to the offensive boards. Maybe a little nerves there, uh, Rodney, from the one guy who doesn't have a lot of experience from last yeah, year. Yeah, I mean, I think he's trying to get it, you know, get, earn his minutes, and we just talked about how well he did against Virginia Union, so he's got some good confidence coming in right there. But, hey, I like he's going back up and trying to dunk it. Make look, a point early. Look at him, 6'8", 220. Unbelievable. Looked like a travel, no whistle. Comer's in the game. Comer with the basketball actually led all of D1 basketball in turnovers last year. That sets up well for the Rams' Havoc-style defense for sure. There's Fielder. Look at Brandenburg. So quick. Fast hands. That's what Shaka likes to see. Oh, look at that. Just a suffocating D. Comer guarded by Bree. Six on the shot clock. Giving it up. Comer doesn't know what to do. Filer. Three on the shot clock. And it's a loose ball. Bree's going to pick it up. He'll go in for the lay-in. Pin, that's goaltending. Count it. Nice take right there by Briante Weber. Florida Gulf Coast didn't even go after the loose ball, Greg, and they've got to do that to be able to compete here with the Rams tonight. Briante went and grabbed that thing, came in a little bit flat, but he was able to get it up off the glass for the goaltend. I don't know much, but I know one thing. You'll never see a VCU Ram team coached by Shaka Smord watching a loose ball go out of bounds or down the floor. No, I think that Florida Gulf Coast was a little <laughs> bit surprised. Oh, you're going to go try to get that? We're just going to let it go out of bounds. That'll never happen. Not in Richmond, Virginia, my friend. More pressure here. Veradell's in the game now. Rebound, no. Murray with a stick back. Can't get it. Foul. They're going to go all. They're going to go over the back there on DJ or Graham. Haley being a little physical right there. Murray drew the foul. The flopping calls have not made it from the NBA down to the VC, down to uh, the NCAA yet. Looked like right there, he, Haley was just going after a nice aggressive rebound. But that's what Coach Smart wants to see. DJ Haley, brilliant guy, great student, plays the piano, writes poetry. They want to see a little mean streak. Yeah, they do. I mean, he's going to get 12 to 16 minutes a game. Whatever he can do in there is, is great. So he can spare a foul every now, now and then. Comer cross court to Brown. He fires it up. Off the front iron, no. Teddy Okarafer, the Ram sophomore out of London in the game now. So is Darius Theus. So it's Theus, Okarafer, Brandenburg, Graham, and Haley. Liberal substitutions from head coach Shaka Smart, who, believe it or not, Rodney's in his fourth season here on Broad Street. Okarafer at the top of the key, 15 on the shot clock. Graham floats it down to Haley, and they're going to call three seconds yeah, on thought, DJ Haley. Haley thought he was going to get a call right there with a the hole, but he had been in the lane too much. And, you know, big guy's going to take up for another big guy. You got to give him the ball. If he's posted <laughs> up in there and he's that big, you, if you don't get it to him in three seconds, you're running late. Exactly, Rodney. Show some sympathy for one of your brothers. There's another turnover. Graham gets it swatted away. Brandenburg now, and the Rams will reset, but another turnover. 13.30 to play. Rams 9, Florida Gulf Coast 6. Opening night here for the VCU Rams 2012 season. Theus gives it up to Oka Rafer. Teddy cross court to Brandenburg. Good ball movement. Graham drives, kick out. 
10 on the shot clock, number 10 with the basketball. Dribbling around, Brown reached in, absolutely, that should be a whistle. Yeah, and Brown's one guy they don't want to get in foul trouble. He's going to need to be able to put up some big minutes and big points tonight for them to stay in it. Andy Enfield's the head coach for Florida Gulf Coast in his second season. Last time we saw that guy, believe it or not, he was an assistant coach for Florida State 2011 when the Rams knocked them off in overtime to go to the regional follow final in San Antonio. And he still wanted to come play us. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he, he's, a, he's an exciting coach in his second year, like you said. And uh, they made a big run last year in the Atlantic Sun Tournament. They were, I think they were like the sixth seed or something like that. They ended up making it to the finals, knocking off the top three seeds on their way. We're leading at halftime in the final before yeah. falling. They were 15 and 17 last year. Travion Graham with a three, can't get it to go. And they're going to call an over the back there on number 12, Eric McKnight. So you saw good positioning there for Javante Reddick boxing out for the rebound. Yeah, McKnight wanted to create a little space and got a, got a little bit too much of a push right there and got caught with his hand in the cookie jar. So a couple of quick fouls there for Florida Gulf Coast. Teddy Okorafer going to throw it in underneath. Gets it to Graham up underneath and another foul. And I think that's going to be on McKnight as well. Graham, phenomenal at getting to the line. One of the, led the team last year and getting to the line in 40 minutes per 40 minutes played. Picks right up where he left off last year. Back to the line tonight. They're actually going to call that one on number five, Christoph Varadell out of Switzerland. They've got quite a few international players on this Florida Gulf Coast team. This is only their second season eligible for the NCAA tournament. They've only been playing D full D1 basketball for six years. Yeah, they're going to get their taste of D1 basketball. They come here and then next week. They go down and they play Miami at home and then at Duke, Greg. Wow. Still think this place is louder than Cameron. Oh, I, I tell you what. It's, <laughs> I, I, if, you, if you've ever been to Cameron, it's hot in Cameron. It is hot tonight in the Siegel Center. It is. You can tell that the uh, 19th consecutive sellout has definitely turned up the heat in here. Travion Graham now with five points for the Rams. Oh, and then Filer comes right and bangs into our press row seat. Thompson with a shot no good. Gets the rebound after it's volleyballed a bit. McKnight on the post, the left hand is good. So McKnight gets the basketball. VCU 11, Florida Gulf Coast 8. 12.30 to play, Darius Theus over to Teddy Okarafer. Again, you're gonna see a lot of different lineups here, not just tonight, but probably in the early part of the season is Shaka Smart looks to see what works, what's effective, Javante Reddick fall away. Can't get it to go. Graham so active on the offensive glass. Didn't get that one. You know, almost did in good position. I'm not a big fan of that fadeaway, Greg. If you're shooting a fadeaway, it's tough for you to go back and get that offensive rebound. So I'd like to see him stick in there and shoot it straight up if he can. Great point. Great point there. Bucket and the foul for Eric McKnight. Nice, no. nice assist right there by Thompson. Floated it up there off the pick and roll. And uh, nice job of McKnight to gather it and put it back in. 11.58 to play till half. ECU 11, Florida Gulf Coast 10. Quick timeout here on Ram TV. ECU basketball presented by Nationwide Insurance. Nationwide is on your side and a proud supporter of the Rams and by Pearson Honda and their beautiful showroom on Hull Street. All smiles here on opening night. The Rams leading Florida Gulf Coast 11 to 10. Just under 12 minutes to play. Rodney, the students were lined up five hours before the game. What a great environment they've created here tonight. And, you know, it just keeps getting better and better each year. You wonder how VCU is going to top with the environment that they had the year before. Somehow they did it again tonight. Great environment in here for the Rams home opener against Florida Gulf Coast. Of course, they'll be back at it here on Tuesday night. A monster non-conference game against Wichita State. The same shocker team, the Rams, knocked off in the first round of the NCAA tournament back in March out in Portland, Oregon. A bit of a rivalry has developed between the two teams, the two programs, the two coaching staffs. And boy, that's going to be one that gets a lot of national attention. But tonight, the focus is on the blue and green of Florida Gulf Coast, a team VCU's never played. McKnight misses the free throw, so the Rams lead still one. Get the rebound, they're off and running. And this is the first of three Atlantic Sun teams that VCU will play this year, so getting a little bit of a taste earlier, early. Florida Gulf Coast picked three, third in the league preseason. Good ball movement. 
Troy Daniels launches a three ball, his first of the season. He set the school record a year ago. He's off and running towards it again this season. Rams leading now 14 to 10. You see Theus, who somehow is not part of the all defensive A-10 team. Something to prove for Darius there. Feeler goes baseline, cut off, looked like he shuffled his feet. Joe DeMeo whistles and says, yes, he did. You talk about Theus flying under the radar. There was another list that came out by one of the magazines that had the top 50 point guards in the country listed. And unfortunately, Darius Theus wasn't, wasn't on it. Coach Smart uses it as a little bit of a motivation factor, brought it to Darius and said, well, what do you think about this, Darius? And Darius thinks, I'm going to put it up in my locker, and by the end of the year, they're going to wish that I, had, I was on this list. Bucket in the foul there for Travion Graham. This is the sophomore that they hope to step into the role that was vacated by a VCU le legend, Brad Burgess. A four-year starter set the NCAA record for consecutive starts, breaking Patrick Ewing's record. He's no longer in the program. But Graham, a similar player, a similar body type, hoping now that now that Burgess is going, Graham can kind of step into that role. Yeah, he was picked by Sports Illustrated to be one of the breakout sophomores of the year. And so far tonight, showing why he was picked that way, man, he can get to the line in a hurry. Travion Graham already with eight of the Rams' 17 points tonight, eight of 17. He's the leading scorer. When Shaka Smart was recruiting Travion Grand, he told him you could be the all-time leading scorer in VCU history. And that's saying something right now, because right now it's held by Eric Maynor, the backup point guard for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Three ball. Free with a rebound, pushing it up court. Rebound, or a turnover there by the Rams. Sherwood Brown now. Finger roll, no good. Rebound ripped down by Troy Daniels. Ahead to Weber. Slashing down the lane. Good look to Redick. Briefly lost the handle, gets it around. Good ball movement. Three ball. Theus, count it! Nice ball movement right there. Redick a little bit upset that he wasn't able to gather it and put it in, but kicked it out to Theus. Theus bared it, and... Florida Gulf Coast has seen enough. They're going to have to call a timeout, Greg. VCU jumps out to their first double-digit lead, and it's Darius Theus with his first three of the game. We talk so much about Darius Theus distributing the basketball, being the quarterback, playing lights-out defense, but that kid can stroke it as well. He sure can. He's worked hard ever since he came in here as a freshman to become a better player every single year. And this year, he's looking to be a, have a breakout season as far as it comes to shooting. 10-18 to play. VCU 20, Florida Gulf Coast 10. As we mentioned, entering tonight's game, VCU's won its past nine home games, including a 12-1 mark at the Siegel Center on home openers. You got to like that. Great atmosphere here tonight. So the Rams. The Rams talked about this year how they are not scared to go with a Ford guard lineup, and that's what they have right here. Although you could say Graham could be a small Ford as long as he is. You see them trying to work to the trap, and they've got Thompson in a trap right now. And there's the ball. It's loose. Brown scoops it up. Almost did exactly what they drew up. Swatted by Reddick. Not in here. I mean, there's not a one portion of the court that Florida Gulf Coast can kind of back up and get themselves together. They must think this court is super small or something. There's a ram every time you turn around. And, Rodney, we're only 10 minutes into the game. Imagine after they've had 25, 30 minutes of havoc in their face. Thompson with a fall away, it's good. It's kind of like in the NFL, you want to run the ball to wear the other lineman down. I mean, it's just... It's just over and over and over. It just starts to wear on you as a ball handler if you're a ball handler on the opposing team. So that was a little 9-0 run by the Rams. Reddick, rebound, stick back, blocked briefly, and then he cannot get it to go. Nice work down there by Reddick to get his own rebound the first time, though. I like to see it. Comer. Kicks it out there to Thompson. Ahead to Brown. Three. Kind of a strange stroke there by Brown 
Theus, rebound, he's going coast to coast, throws it up. But he'll go to the line, Darius Theus. Brown having somewhat of a difficult night tonight. Preseason Atlantic Sun Player of the Year, but not getting it done so far tonight. Struggling a bit from the floor. So Darius Theus is going to go to the line. He started every game at point guard last season. Played the second most minutes on the team. You'll remember he was the CAA tournament most outstanding player. And is now the uh, next in a long line of brilliant point guards for VCU. Joey Rodriguez, who was one of his mentors. Eric Maynard, who, while they didn't play together, was, well, briefly that one year has been a mentor because Eric has a place here in Richmond. He, he yep. visits here and works out here often in the offseason. And this is becoming kind of point guard you. And Theus was Coach Smart's first official signee, Greg. Not a bad, not a bad pickup late in the late in the game. It's his alter ego on the court. A steal by Briante Weber. Troy Daniels three. Get down. Troy shot that from about 27 feet too, Greg. No conscious when it comes to range for Troy Daniels. Rams by a dozen. 9:05 to play in the first half. Rams cranking it up on D. Another turnover. Daniels ahead to Theus. He's going to the rack. Lay in, bucket, good! This place is going bananas! Florida Gulf Coast gets a timeout. Havoc in full effect at the Siegel Center. Florida Gulf Coast having to again call a timeout to try to slow the Rams down. They want a fast pace, but I don't, I don't think they wanted a pace quite this fast. We talk about how this team can score in bunches, and usually it starts on the defensive end, Robbie. Uh, Rodney, which is exactly where it began for that barrage. Wow. Look at this replay right here coming up. You had Troy Daniels coming down and bearing a three and then coming back down and getting a steal. Right here, Troy grabs the ball, kicks it off to Darius Theus. Nice take right there. And then Coach, Coach had seen enough and had to call a timeout to slow things down a little bit. Part of a 15-2 run for the VCU Rams. We're just under nine minutes to play here. And the Rams with a nice cushion here. And you can hear the fans. This black and gold army in full throat right now. And look at the trap. Ready to force another turnover. Oka Rayfor with the fast hands. At this point, Florida Gulf Coast looks stunned it's almost like they weren't ready for this kind of pressure there's no way to prepare for this they're going to face exactly one team with this type of intensity this year and it's vcu and you know the other day i was at practice with and uh, we had a couple people there and one of them was Corey alexander the former uva great and current acc color commentator and i was talking to him i said Corey, tell me a little bit about the intensity compared to some of the other practices you go to and he said by far and away VCU's practice is the most intense practice he's been to in the four to five years he's been doing the color commentating. So that's hats off to Coach Smart and his staff not to let that team relax one second. And it shows through in game night. See Coach Smart in his fourth season here at VCU, 84 and 28 overall record. Of course, the final four in 2011, they were just a whisker away from the Sweet 16 a year ago. Losing to Indiana, who of course is preseason number one this year. So what does that tell you about how good the Rams were a year ago? And who knows? Maybe they'll see Indiana somewhere along the line later this year. You know, they were about a millimeter from going to the going to the Sweet 16. I'm sure Indiana would not want to give give um, Brandenburg that shot again. Kind of an alley oop there, missed by Feeler. So a little razzle-dazzle backfires on Florida Gulf Coast. Let's reset it for you. Oka Rafer, Daniels, and the freshman Melvin Johnson in the game. He wears number 32. Oka Rafer trying to get it. He got the friendly bounce. Teddy Oka Rafer gets into the three party. And Florida Gulf Coast answer to Havoc is trying to get it in and get it out, but the Rams come right back at him with Oka Rafer pushing down the feet. Cool. Melvin Johnson, the true freshman with his first shot. Can't get it to go. Johnson didn't get as much preseason in as Coach Smart would have liked. Struggled with a little bit of a hip flexor early on, Greg, but looking looking much better now. Johnson's a guy who originally committed to Miami, decommitted, and now is playing for the black and gold. Thompson shot, fouls it up. 
tries to lay it in and it's good. And Bernard Thompson gets the bucket there. He now has six for the Eagles. So we're 29 to 16 after a 17 to, excuse me, an 18 to two run back to back buckets for the Eagles. Miss Johnson rebound, can't get it to go. Look at Troy, tried to kind of slap it back in. Veradell, that's absolutely a travel. No question in any country. Yeah, exactly right. Under Veradell out from Switzerland. That might go over there, but not here. Under eight media timeout. VCU 29, Florida Gulf Coast 16. More ahead here on Ram TV. VCU is presented by Puritan Cleaners and their Coats for Kids program online at PuritanCleaners.com and by the VCU Medical Center every day a new discovery 722 till halftime VCU 29 Florida Gulf Coast 16 check in some stats Travion Graham leading the Rams with eight points Troy Daniels has six on a pair of three balls Darius Theus also has six to go along with two assists. The Rams already have six steals. They've forced Florida Gulf Coast into eight turnovers. And usually, Chaka Smart wants to see the opponent turn it over about 20 times a game. I've got a feeling they're going to get there tonight. And the magic number typically on the offense is 65 points. I think we're going to see that tonight as well. Rams seeing some pressure break it easily. Theus, Brandenburg, Graham, Gaston Reddick on the floor for the black and gold. Theus on the wing, not ready to shoot it yet. Seven minutes to go to halftime. Ten minutes left on the shot clock. Darius directing traffic. Top of the key, slashes, stops, kick out, Guest, pump fake, jumper with two on the shot clock, High off the back iron, no good. Reddick rips down the rebound. It's like that claw came out of nowhere. Reddick with that nice, long, athletic body and quick jump, reached up and grabbed it and put it back in before Florida Gulf Coast even knew what hit him. Dangerous pass there by Gulf Coast. Brown now spots up, jumper, no good. Guest rebound. Great job right there by Javante Reddick. I don't know if you noticed that he stayed close to the basket and forced Brown to shoot a jump shot on a two-on-one fast break. That's exactly how you want it played. And what a hustle play by Rob Brandenburg. Again, not just letting it go out of bounds. He saved it and threw it off of Veradell, so the Rams will retain possession. And they're the kind of plays that Shaka Smart loves. They're hustle plays. They're high basketball IQ plays. 6.18 to play, Rams by 15, 31 to 16. Opening night here at the Siegel Center. Darius Theus. So Brandenburg, can't get it, Graham crashing the offensive glass, shot blocked by McKnight. It's on the floor, Brown scoops it ahead to Comer. Comer now running, gives it up to McKnight, lost the handle, another turnover. Good hustle right there by Graham. Brandenburg, look how fast he is. You can't turn around for a second, or otherwise he's going to be putting it in the basket. Florida Gulf Coast got caught napping right there. First bucket of the night for Brandenburg. Nobody gets up the court faster than Rob B. McKnight, that's a charge, absolutely. Second already of the game. The Rams practice this. In practice, they take charges. Everybody, the coaching staff, just to have some fun, will take a charge. <laughs> I tell you what, right there, Reddick did another great job. Two on one fast break, breaks it up by taking the charge. The last time down, he forced a jump shot by Sherrod Brown. Florida Gulf Coast having struggling converting on fast breaks so far tonight. Rams by 17, 33 to 16, 535 to play. It's one of the few times you'll ever see VCU walk it up. This, Brandenburg, Graham, Guest, and Reddick on the floor. That's Graham on the wing, and they set a palm there, a little carryover. He did. He kind of got caught in between a little bit. Getting a little excited. I mean, this is the first time, really. I mean, they played against Union, but this is the first time that in live situations they're having these type of officials, and sometimes you, you make a few mistakes in practice like that. That show in the game and then you saw the Rams there trying to get the trap Graham and Guest well they're gonna get whistled for a foul Troy Daniels is gonna check in here 
We talk about the experience. VCU returns 84% of the minutes played from a year ago, 80% of their scoring, and 85% of their rebounding from a squad that went 29-7 and seven a year ago. And, of course, as we've mentioned many times, a whisker away from the Sweet 16. Not a bad replacement for Brandon Burgess, Brad for Burgess either when you have Travion Ga Graham coming in to replace him. And, of course, we see Jared Guest. We've yet to see Justin Tuio, another long, lean, athletic type that uh, had a good effort against Virginia Union. Nearly another turnover by Florida Gulf Coast. Approaching five minutes to play here till halftime. And another turnover. I think that's ten now. Brandon Berg in for the easy layoff. He's just got another gear, Greg. He catched that ball and he took off. He was in the basket before you know it. And just like that, it's six straight points for the Rams. And they're up 19. And they're threatening to blow this thing wide open. Eddie Murray, though, stops the bleeding with an easy lay-in. Four thirty-eight to play, 35-18 Rams by 17 points here. Four and a half to go. Theus thought about a three. He'll back it out. We've got a mismatch if we can get Reddick posted up down here on the block. We've got a mismatch down there where I think he can do some work against Eddie Murray. Guest, 10 on the shot clock, down to Reddick. And they call it jump ball there? No, That's right there. It? He's going up for the basket. Reddick's going to go to the go and shoot two right there. Like we said, he has a Mitch match down there with Murray. Ram did a good job of recognizing it and getting it down into him. Murray's listed as 6'8". They listed him at 6'8", 205. Honestly, if he's 200 pounds, I'm... I'm 6'9", 250. <laughs> he's thin is what I'm trying to say. Murray is thin. I think Eddie Murray, the baseball player, will weigh more than Eddie, yeah, Murray, probably the, so. than Eddie Murray, the basketball player. Okarafer checks in. Jared Guest checks out. I wonder if Coach Roos has like a muscle stat of the game because that right there was just Reddick manhandling Murray down on the block. We've seen nine different Rams play already tonight, and that's not uncommon for a shock of smart team. We may see 10 in uh, Justin Tuio. The Rams go back up and another turnover. It's 37 to 18. Rams looking to add to it. Brandenburg, good ball movement. Theus to Reddick on the baseline, loses the handle. Four minutes to play till halftime, 20 on the shot clock. Rams 37-18 over Florida Gulf Coast. Oka Rafer in the corner, Brandenburg launches a three, count it! Wow, Brandenburg, and just like that, that's seven straight points for him. And Brandenburg almost gets a steal right there after knocking down the three-pointer. It's a 22-point lead for VCU, 3.47 to go. Quick timeout here on Ram TV. Any partner of VCU Basket Ram TV is American Family Fitness. 3.47 to play till halftime. VCU 40, Florida Gulf Coast 18. And certainly it has been a barrage by the Rams. Led by Travion Graham with eight. Rob Brandenburg who scored seven straight. Reddick has six. Daniels has six. Rams already with a half dozen three-pointers on the night. VCU shooting 40% from behind the three-point line. I'll tell you what, that's getting it done. Six for 15 from behind the line, Greg. And the stat that Chaka Smart will love the most, a dozen turnovers by Florida Gulf Coast. Havoc in full effect. The Rams already have nine steals in this game. Rams by 22 points here. Reddick! Boy, you got after like a point guard there, he didn't sure you? sure did. He saw Brandenburg get in on that action. He says, I want a little bit of that guard action. Well, Briante Weber has three steals. Theus has two. Reddick already has one. Graham has one. Daniels has one. And Oka Rafer has one. Oka Rafer getting some big minutes tonight in the first half.
22 to 18 with just two minutes to go. The Rams really impressive here in the first Another half. Another turnover. Graham has it. Will he go all the way in? He's fouled on his way to the bucket. He'll walk to the line. Graham has been all over the place in the first 20 minutes tonight. I tell you, Graham, we talked about how good he is at getting, uh, getting to the line. He was ranked in the top 40 in the country in fouls, drawn per 40 minutes, averaging nearly six trips to the line. Perfect of action. You see right there how he draw contact right there and get to the line. Travion Graham, and then he converts when he gets there too, Greg. Man, the Rams have 21 points off turnover. Half their points have come off of Florida Gulf Coast turnovers. And wow, I, I look up and it, and it appears Florida Gulf Coast substitute basically all five. I think they are already, when you see, you see this is a, a common sight in the Siegel Center. The opponent with their hands on their knees, stretching their shorts out of breath. Yeah, it that's just the all norm. the time. The norm. 43 to 18 is our score. And Comer's back in. He is the point guard, the regular point guard for Florida Gulf Coast. And then Feeler lost the handle. Look at Okarefer on the floor. Another turnover by Florida Gulf Coast. Graham, there's Johnson. Three ball. Does he get it? Little strong. And they're going to call Reddick down over the back. I thought he had good position. Yeah, I think he, I mean, I don't know how you call it over the back. I think it's hopefully it's going to be more of a push right there. Reddick just kind of muscled up. You got to let him go at it. These big guys are down there. They want to get, they want to get physical. Got to let him go a little bit. Javante Reddick looks like such a specimen out there. Has certainly filled out, been in the weight room. You know, Javante had back surgery back in May. Not a lot of people know. Coach uh, Smart didn't really talk about it until preseason press conference. He was cleared to play just before they went to Italy. He didn't play a ton no, in Italy, minutes, yeah. uh, but doesn't look like a guy who had all. Back looks back. okay to me. I bet if back. you asked McKnight how his back was, he'd be <laughs> he'd be saying it's okay. 43 to 18, and again, you see the uh, bleeding briefly stopped by Florida Gulf Coast as Rob Brandenburg checks in for Travion Graham, and it looks like DJ Haley's going to report to the scores table, and he'll be going in. He actually is checking in now for Javante. Nobody really in foul trouble for the Rams, but it, it wouldn't really matter at this point, only because they're up 24 points on Florida Gulf Coast. McKnight's second one rolls around the rim and out. Rebound by Haley, who gets it to Okarefer. There's Daniels, long three. No, Okarefer rebound, and he'll pull it out, and they'll start over. Brandenburg. Back to Okarefer. 125 to play. Brandenburg fires off a three. No. Okarefer's going to get another offensive rebound. Johnny on the spot. Teddy Okarefer. Let's reset it for you. Okarefer, Daniels, Johnson, Brandenburg, and Haley. A small lineup on the floor here. Four guards for the Rams. Daniels continues to play four, which is impressive for him. Johnson, two on the shot clock. He throws it up. It's good, and the foul right at the shot clock buzzer. The guard from the Bronx in New York shows some of that razzle-dazzle that those guards do from New York. Puts it high enough off the glass and spins it in and draws the foul right there. Great job by Melvin Johnson taking it to the hole with just two seconds left to go on the shot clock. There's 58.3 seconds left till half time, so we're just under a minute. The Rams are up 45 to 19. 45 to 19. And Melvin Johnson, again, a young man who had committed to Miami, and their head coach, Jim Laranaga, had a change of heart, decided to sign with the Rams. He's a big-time player out of the Bronx. He's a shooter. That's what he is. He's a no conscious shooter. I might have to double down on that and just call him. He's just a scorer. He knows to get the ball, how to get the ball in the basket. It's going to be a quick 30-second timeout right here. As we see, we check out Brandenburg coming down, and then a you're going to see Rob Brandenburg, who certainly is a, is a guy who plays with so much energy. And then watch Javante Reddick again. He's really matured as a player, Rodney. Look how quick he gets off the floor right here. Grabs the ball, sticks it, puts it right back up in before Florida Gulf Coast can get their first jump in. Very impressive by Reddick. Like you said, no, no, it doesn't look like any bad residual effects from that back surgery this past, this past summer. The Rams are up by 27 points on Florida Gulf Coast in the season opener here at the Siegel Center. VCU 46, 
Florida Gulf Coast 19. There's 58.3 seconds to go. And as we usually say in these types of settings, because we've seen it a bunch, Chuck is probably most excited about only giving up 19 in the first half at this point. Yeah, More so excited than the 46. Theus kind of turned away. That, that sure looked like solid D there. Technique, but uh, they're going to whistle Theus on the foul. That's only his first. Team foul number eight for VCU. Comer's going to go to the line for Florida Gulf Coast. You mentioned he is a sophomore, a true sophomore. He was on this team a year ago. Led the team in assists, but he led the nation in turnovers. Gets the first one to go. The Florida Gulf Coast with 50.9 seconds left. Finally at 20 points here in the first half. Comer will set up for the other one. Staring into that VCU student section, and he misses it. Guest with a rebound. Outlet the Theus, who picks up the tempo quickly. Gulf Coast tried to trap. See, the thing that people forget is VCU goes up against a trap every single day in practice. 33 seconds to go. 17 on the shot clock. Daniels, top of the key, 25 seconds, 10 on the shot clock, till halftime, Theus, eight on the shot clock. Tries to give it up, a turnover it is. And now it looks like Florida Gulf Coast will give it up, lose the handle. Veradell, no rebound, Daniels, eight seconds to go, seven, six, Theus has the basketball, five, left in the first half, Daniels, one second left, shot, no good, it's halftime. VCU 46, Florida Gulf Coast 20. It's a 26 point lead for the VCU Rams. We're standing by, Kelly Lemon will have head coach Shaka Smart here. She's actually standing by with him right now. Go ahead, Kelly. Coach, up by 26, your thoughts on the first half of play? Yeah, I thought we did some good things. The press was effective for us. We gotta be a little more sound on defense. Gave up a couple too many layups, but I think the effort was good. We got a match set in the second half. Good luck in the second. I'll talk to you after the game. Welcome back to the Siegel Center opening night for Ram TV. It's been all VCU. Rams 46, Florida Gulf Coast 20. Travion Graham leading the way for the Rams with nine points, but everybody's gotten into the act and chipped in. Rob Brandenburg with seven, Darius Theus six, Javante Reddick six, Troy Daniels six. The Rams have six threes, actually six of 19 from the three-point arc, about 31%. But they've really gotten it done on the defensive end. They have held Florida Gulf Coast to under 31% shooting. The Eagles have 16 turnovers in the first half. Rams with a dozen steals, a couple of blocks. They've just been absolutely suffocating on defense. Florida Gulf Coast 0 for 7 from the three-point arc. It's been all according to script for Shaka Smart, Rodney. Yeah, it sure has. And you know, defensively, you talk about they have just been a beast. As a matter of fact, Florida Gulf Coast 0 for 7 from behind the three-point line. So great job by Coach, Coach Smart's team to come out here and impose havoc on the Florida Gulf Coast Eagles. Rams have 22 points off turnovers, 11 fast break points, and you know what? 19 have come off the bench as well. So pretty impressive stuff there for VCU. VCU 46, Florida Gulf Coast 20. We're approaching halftime here. Back to Ram Team. The start, VCU is up 26 points, 46 to 20 in this game. We've had a few technical difficulties. We don't have the lower score, lower third score graphic that's you always see on TV or the time, so we'll be updating you throughout the game. Stay patient, enjoy Ram basketball and Ram TV all season long. We'll work out this technical glitch. But VCU's up 26 points. What can we expect to see in the second half, Rodney? I think more of the same. You're going to come out and see some guys try to earn some extra minutes after this starting five right here. Interesting lineup changes by Coach Smart. Really going small, having Troy Daniels play a lot of four, even Jared Guest playing some four very interesting lineup changes by coach smart but overall i think you're going to see more havoc and probably more turnovers by florida gulf coast <laughs> 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different Rams seeing the floor in the first half. We're underway here in the second half. Rams with the lead, 26 point lead, BCU 46, Florida Gulf Coast 20, opening seconds here of the second half. It's the same starting five. Theus, Daniels, Travion Graham, Reddick, and DJ Haley. Florida Gulf Coast working this 3-2 zone right here. The Rams trying to figure a way to get into it. They're gonna have to either do it by penetration or by passing the ball interior right there. Another offensive rebound by the Rams. That's the other thing they're really doing great on. You know, they out-rebounded the Florida Gulf Coast Eagles by seven in the first half, but 13 of those were offensive rebounds, Greg, and they're starting right back where they left off here in the second half. 19-27, just 30 seconds into the second half, and you see Javante Reddick with a little jumper there. He now has eight points, and the Rams are off and running. 48 to 20 is our score. Not even a minute into this second half of action. And you see the Rams on defense, a little alley-oop there to Thompson who knocks it down. Thompson has eight early on for the Florida Gulf Coast Eagles. 48 to 22 is our score. Graham with a three off the back iron, no. Theus quickly scoops it up over to Daniels, back out to Graham, will hand it over to Theus and they'll reset. 18.45 to play here in the second half. Rams by 26 points. Theus to Reddick around it. Troy Daniels. He's already got a couple of threes, and there's another. Daniels knocking down his third three-pointer of the night. Three for seven from behind the arc so far tonight. That's going to put the Rams up 51 to 22 with 18.25 to play. Daniels has nine in the game, but he just got whistled for a foul there. Just a little over aggressive on the defense, but that's what Coach Smart loves to see. The Rams getting it after it all on the defensive end after a made bucket. I think he'll accept with you know an aggressive mistake from time to time, but one of the things that makes Havoc so successful is when they can run Havoc controlled, you know, controlled on the defensive end. This is the largest lead of the lead, largest lead of the game for the VCU Rams. 29 points. Quickly back to 27 with a bucket from Brett Comer. He now has five. VCU 51, Florida Gulf Coast 24. Travion Graham with the basketball to Theus. Slashes, stops at the foul line. The floater's good. How many times have you seen Eric Maynard do that in his career? Yeah, a lot. I think he learned from the best right there. Theus now has eight points. You know, one of the things that's going to get shown on film tonight, you know, with Wichita State and other teams picking up this, picking up this film is Florida Gulf Coast, when they can get it out of bounds and up the sideline fairly quickly, has had some success of, of beating the press. That's what they've had to do. So the Rams are going to have to find some type of answer from keep preventing them to run it up the sideline in the sideline fast break. But teams wear themselves out doing that time and time again, don't they, Rodney? Yeah, but, I mean, you, Yes, they do. And in addition to that, you know, typically it, it, it does not happen against the Coach Smart coach team. But uh, tonight, Florida Gulf Coast had some luck with it. Four new Rams check in. Briante Weber, Teddy Okarafer, Jared Guest, Rob Brandenburg. Reddick stays on the court as Thompson looks into that VCU student section who's awfully ornery tonight. Well, I'd be honored if I waited outside for five hours to get into the game as well, Greg. It's a hot ticket amongst the students here at Virginia Commonwealth University. Okarafer over to Brandenburg. VCU 53, Florida Gulf Coast 25, 17-39 to play in this game. Rams were up 26 at the half. They've had their pedal to the metal pretty much since the get-go tonight. That one really could have gone either way. Brandenburg right there pushed off a bit as well, but they called it a defensive foul first. Brandenburg's got to be careful with throwing that forearm out. Oak Ray for lost the handle briefly, gets it over to Brandenburg. Ball movement knocked away by Thompson there. Yeah, definitely last touch by Thompson. So the Rams will get it just there next to the VCU bench. 17 27 left in the game. VCU 53, Florida Gulf Coast 25. Okare for Brandenburg, Weber, Guest, and Reddick on the floor for VCU. That's Okare for with a basketball, down to Reddick on the block. Weber, back to Okare for, that's a deep three, rattles around, no good. Thompson tracks it down, and now he's pushing it for Florida Gulf Coast. 
Florida Gulf Coast, Comer has a basketball, he wears number zero. Gulf Coast has a pair of ACC teams after this. He'll play Miami and Duke. Alley-oop to Sherwood Brown. It goes. The third time tonight we've been beat on that exact play. Coach Smart's seen enough. He wants to put something in to stop it. So he'll call a quick timeout right here. VCU 53, Florida Gulf Coast 27, 16.56 to play. Family Fitness. VCU basketball on Ram TV. How cool is that? First time they've done that, a oversized Havoc lives here banner unveiled as the team took the floor going over one of the student sections. Great idea there by marketing director Corey Sears. Really nice touch. Very impressive, and the students really got into it. I tell you, I don't know if Coach Smart in his opening press conference when he was being announced the head coach of VCU basketball knew what he was starting when he says we're going to impose Havoc on the other team's psyche what he was really starting, but it sure has taken off and been an impressive impressive marketing tool, but also an impressive tool to win some big basketball games here. Coach Smart starting out with, off with 84 wins in his first three years here, Greg. Yeah, in the world of brand management, Havoc's got a pretty good it reputation. sure does. I'm pretty sure that's trademarked by now. 16.50 here. Briante Weber with the basketball. Top of the key, gives it the gas. Yeah, bounce right off his hands. Thompson scoops it up. He's running. Gives it up to Brown. The lay-in is good. Not the way the Rams wanted to come out of that timeout. Brown couldn't get started in the first half, but that's how you get players started with easy layups like that. We don't want to give him any momentum to get started. He's a great player. VCU 53, Florida Gulf Coast 29. 16-25 left in the game. Guest over to Okarafer. Okarafer finds Weber there. He lost the handle. Rams... Having trouble holding on to the basketball. That's Brandenburg goes baseline. Oh, look, that Slick boy is, move. He is quick as I don't know what, Greg. You know, there's fast and there's quick in basketball, and he's got him. He's lucky enough to have them both. He blew by that defender like he wasn't even there. Brandenburg with nine now. That was a nice behind-the-back pass by Feeler. McKnight wasn't even ready for it, I don't think. No, all for not because Guest came in there and swatted it away. 16 minutes to play here in the second half. VCU 55. Florida Gulf Coast, 29. It's a 26-point lead here for the Rams. Feeler with the right hand. That looked like it was altered by D.J. Haley and another whistle. That's been the only way the Florida Gulf Coast has been able to stop the Rams tonight is to file them and hold them. So great job by the Rams right there. Right now, the uh, Rams coaching staff not thrilled with the opening minutes here of the second half. 15.55 to play. VCU 55, Florida Gulf Coast 29. More ahead here on Ram TV. TV is presented by Nationwide Insurance. Nationwide is on your side and a proud supporter of the Rams. Also by Pearson Honda and their beautiful showroom on Hall Street. 15.55 to play here in the second half. VCU 55, Florida Gulf Coast 29. Before tonight's game, a moment of silence for a good friend and a proud member of the VCU community, baseball coach Paul Keyes, who lost his battle to cancer on Saturday. Members of the baseball team and the entire community holding up a high five. Of course, Key Dog War number five in his 18 years coaching at VCU. There's going to be a memorial service here at the Siegel Center they're calling a celebration of life on Wednesday afternoon and nobody loved VCU more than Paul we will certainly miss him VCU 55 Florida Gulf Coast 29 1555 to play here on opening night at the Siegel Center Weber Brandenburg Okarafer guest and Haley on the floor Brandenburg launches one no good rebound just out of the reach of Graham how did Weber save that? Remarkable athleticism from Briante Weber. Shot by Brandenburg doesn't go. I still don't understand how Briante Weber was able to save that in front of the VCU bench. You know, one second Florida Gulf Coast was hustling down the line with it. The next second Briante Weber had it on the floor and kicking it over to Brandenburg. Very impressive by Weber. He is like a tornado on the floor. You can always tell. With that trademark headband. I'm surprised it stays on his head, Rodney. He moves so quick. It must be very tight on there because he is. He can get down the floor. VCU 55, Florida Gulf Coast 29. 15-10 to play here at the Siegel Center. 12 on the shot clock. And you're going to get a whistle away from the ball. Who's that on? 11? They're calling it on Brandenburg. 
Did he get called for maybe a hold there? He would look like he was. Yeah, I think he was trying to control the screen a little bit, and, you know, create a nice angle, <laughs> angle for his his uh, defensive player, but got caught right there. Daniels will check in for Rob Brandenburg. 15:07 to play. Rams by 26, 55 to 29. Feeler, shovel pass inside and a half foul on Haley there. Didn't see Murray sneak in behind him. The pace definitely has been a lot choppier here in the second half. I mean, yeah, we not as clean, not as clean as the first half for sure, you know. And I think that's something that Coach Smart will probably talk about during film session is how they took a lot of momentum coming out of the first half, but coming into the second half, they just haven't been able to get that going again. Now, whether that's Florida Gulf Coast creating that or whether it was self inflicted. You know, I'm not sure, but it is definitely not, a not as clean as the end of the first half. Murray gets the first and drains the second. So Eddie Murray has four for Florida Gulf Coast. 15 minutes to play. Ram lead is 24, 55 to 31. Oka Rafer at the top of the key. Diaz has been out for a while here. Nice. Haley inside, easy bucket for DJ Haley all night long. And you see kind of a kind of a faux alley oop there. Half pass, half oop. Murray on the baseline, not sure he wants it. Gives it up to Veradell. He ball fakes, tries to drive. Shot. No, never got it off. Weber with a steal. Up and in Briante Weber. I tell you, Briante has those quick hands. You don't want to show him the ball if you can help it. Rams lead 59 to 31. Weber now has six. So the Rams are up 28 with 14-17 to play here. Again, our graphics are down. We'll keep repeating the score in time for you. Fairdale getting a little chippy right there with Oka Ray for. So let's keep an eye on that. VCU 59, Florida Gulf Coast 31. Trying to see if we're going to get any substitutions, but it doesn't look like it. This is a lineup that Shaka apparently wants to get a long look at. Okare for Weber, Daniels, Travion Graham, and DJ Haley. Set a cannon there in front of us. There's Veradell. A couple of international players on this Florida Gulf Coast team. Veradell being harassed, cross court. Comer has it now. The true point guard on this team goes around Okare for, tries to, good recovery. Rams again force another turnover. Weber hands it over to Okarafer, gives it up to Weber, fires off a three ball. It's good! How about Weber coming in tonight so far? Four for four from the field tonight with Briante Weber. Briante Weber has nine points in this game. Bree is feeling it. 62 to 31, the largest lead of the game for VCU. They're up 31 points. They've doubled up Florida Gulf Coast here with still 13.30 to play. Bucket is good, stops the bleeding there briefly, and Florida Gulf Coast is gonna take a 30 second timeout, but it was 62 to 31. Now it's 62 34, but Briante Weber, he had such a remarkable freshman year, and he looks like he's picking up where he left off, Rodney. He sure is, he came in, you're gonna show two back-to-back -back baskets by Weber, one nice layup right there and the other one a three-pointer but he's starting all that off he's got five steals tonight greg man oh man and that you know you don't see Bree shoot a lot of threes but he's been working on his jumper i mean how can you argue the guy's shooting 100 percent from the field let him shoot <laughs> what is <laughs> he's yeah. four for four from the field one for one from behind the line like you said he's got five steals so very impressive night so far by weber and he's just all you cannot show him the ball for a second. And, you know, we showed you that oversized head there of Briante that somebody has in the student section. That is what it must feel like for the defender. Exactly. When Bree is in his face, right? It must feel like it's that big. Because Bree will get in your pocket. You know, the other thing that Briante's done well tonight is manage the point guard position from time to time when Theus has been in arrest and Oka Rafor wasn't playing. So good job by Weber. Impressive night by him so far. That's going to be a foul on Thompson. Briante briefly kind of lost the handle on that, but Thompson got his hand caught in the cookie jar. VCU 62, Florida Gulf Coast 34. It's a 28-point lead for VCU. Keep an eye right here to VCU going to try to overload this baseline again. 
Just over 13 minutes to play in this game. Graham goes hard to the rack, laying good. Graham's back up 30. Travion Graham, his first bucket of the second half. He has 11. Graham's trying to get back into that havoc tempo where they press after some made buckets, really turn the vice grip on the Eagles. 30-point lead for the Rams, Greg. Impressive night so far. 12.40 to play here. 10 seconds on the shot clock and a foul. We'll stop it. Rams again up 30 points here, 64 to 34. 12 39 to play. And we're going to get a couple substitutions here for VCU as Melvin Johnson, the true freshman, will check in along with Javante Reddick. Briante Weber checks out, as does DJ Haley. Of course, as we mentioned, next up for VCU, back here at the Siegel Center on Tuesday night, they'll play Wichita State. The team they beat in the first round of the NCAA tournament. It's going to be one of those non-conference games that gets a lot of attention nationwide. This is a return game for the bracket buster game when VCU went out to there. So it, you can expect an electric atmosphere right here. There's no love lost between these two teams. Rams have gotten them the last two times. Thompson with a long three. It's good. Is that, that's just their second three. They didn't have a single three-pointer in the first half. They've got a couple here. Actually, they're two for two in the second half. Theus to Travion Graham. It's 64-37. Rams up big. Daniels three. No good. Trying to track down the rebound. Unbelievable hustle by Travion Graham to save it and maintain the possession for VCU who gets a fresh 35. 12 minutes to play in this game, and VCU's up 27, 64 to 37. Reddick's shot knocked away by McKnight. The crowd has not, you wouldn't know that VCU is up 30 points with the crowd really getting into it right now, keeping the Rams motivated here. They are enjoying themselves here at the Siegel Center. Another sellout, 19 straight. 15 on the shot clock, 11.30 to play. Rams by 27. Fall away by Thompson, not even close. Reddick scoops it up, gets it ahead to Theus. Rams pushing it. Right. Gives it up to Reddick there near the top of the key, and they say he stepped before the ball hit the floor. So we're going to get a uh, dead ball timeout here. 11-19 to play. VCU 64, Florida Gulf Coast 37. More ahead here on Ram TV. Presented by Pure Boots for Kids program. Also brought to you by CarMax. VCU up big here on opening night. Rams by 27 points, 64 to 37, 11 19 to go. Rodney just one Rams in double figures. That's Travion Graham with 11. But Troy Daniels has nine. Briante Weber has nine. Darius Theus has eight. Javante Reddick has eight. Nice balanced scoring there for VCU. Yeah, it sure is. And we've seen pretty much everybody for the Rams tonight, except for David Hinton and Tulio making his first appearance of the night. He had a great game coming out in the exhibition game against Virginia Union. Everybody loved his energy. We're going to see how he can how he can play off of that. Right now, he's guarding the inbounds ball for Florida Gulf Coast. Justin Tuyo seeing his first action of the season. He's another long lean athletic type. And boy, look at him. My goodness. You think he wants some minutes? Boy, it's like somebody flipped a switch. The energy that was on the floor. That kid must have been itching to get in the game. Well, he had, to sit, there. He yeah. had to sit there and watch it for 29 minutes. And he's going to make the most out of this 11 minutes and nine seconds. I can tell you that. They list Justin Tuyo. A 6'9", 220. He's out of Hampton, Georgia. A young man who, uh, well, he just fits the profile. You know, real smart, heady, high basketball IQ, but he's got that athletic, long, lean body type. You know, long wind span. That Shaka loves it. Fits so well into the Havoc style of play as Kraft goes to the line. Yeah, highly recruited. I mean, there were programs like Virginia Tech and Memphis who VCU will face in the, down in the Bahamas in a couple of weeks. University of Richmond and Georgia Tech all wanted him, but he decided to go with the Rams. He was a top 20, top 20 player out of, out of Georgia, too. That's an impressive thing. And uh, the Rams riding this riding this wave from the Final Four and again another showing last year in the in the NCAA tournament, Tuyo decides to come with the Rams. 
makes them both. So it's VCU 64, Florida Gulf Coast 39. We're just over 11 minutes to play. Let's kind of reset the lineup for you for, for VCU. Theus, Johnson, Daniels, Tuio, and Reddick. Daniels, yeah, he's going to get caught yeah, if there. You, if you leave your feet, you cannot dribble it. you got to pass it off. So, bit of a hiccup there for VCU. Briante Weber's going to check into the game. Who's out? It's going to be Troy Daniels. So, Daniels comes out. This is a pretty athletic team they got on the court right here, Greg. You got Briante Weber, Melvin Johnson, Tulio, Reddick, and Theus. And only one senior in Theus. Feeler up front gives it up to Brown, who's kind of been their go-to guy, but he only has eight points tonight. Veradell shot, no good. Reddick rips it down. Another rebound for Javante. Gives it up to Weber. He brings it across court. Gives it up to Reddick. Theus looks to feed it down to Tuio. Spin move, no. Reddick spots up for the jumper. 18-footer, no problem. Javante Reddick from 18 feet. I tell you what, he must be feeling it. Would you call that indefensible for a guy of his size? Yeah, I mean, you just got to get sick. Look at that. Theus dives. Rebound. Oh, Tuio couldn't decide if he wanted to lay it in or if he wanted to dunk it. He got caught in between. Fortunately, Johnson recovered it. He couldn't get it, but he was fouled. Tuio, I don't think he could decide what he wanted to do. No, but he'll be able to decide what he wants to do in film tomorrow because the team will let him have it for that. But you know what? I'm, I guarantee you he's going to finish more of those than he, than he doesn't. Next time, I think he'll just go up there and dunk it. I mean, he's, he's more than athletic enough to finish the ball like that. And you see uh, the one new member of Shaka Smart staff, Jeremy Ballard, is kind of talking to uh, he's talking to Tuio, now talking to Reddick. I haven't really talked about the coaching staff much. Boy, such a vital part of ECU success. Of course, head coach Shaka Smart, his assistant, Mike Rhodes, Will Wade, Jeremy Ballard in his first year, and uh, Mike Morell, who's the director of basketball operations. Donnie Lynn, of course, the video coordinator. Just a tremendous staff there. That we can't forget part. Coach Roos. Oh, the best strength and conditioning coach in the country, Daniel Roos. Keeps these guys and ready for havoc. VCU 66, Florida Gulf Coast 39, under 10 minutes to play. Under 10 minutes left here at the Siegel Center. Underneath McKnight, he lost the handle. You know, McKnight has as many turnovers as the guards for Florida Gulf Coast. He has struggled to hold on to the ball all night. You know, I think it's a strength thing for him up underneath the basket, too. He has a hard time getting it up, and that just shows, you know, speaking of strength with Coach Roos, VCU is just manhandling him down there in the post, having him be able to keep up physically. He's, they list him at 6'9", 210. He definitely needs to put on a little weight. Melvin Johnson over to Darius Theus. 9.35 to play. The Rams are up 27 points. Tuio it, fires off a three. Look at Reddick. Ripped down the board. Kicks it out to Theus. Fresh 35. The intensity level has picked up for the Rams since we talked about how it was a little bit clunky, I think, at that first at the 14-minute timeout. It's definitely been a lot cleaner since then. Well, Theus and Reddick got an extended break on the bench. They were down there for like five minutes. They should be rested. Tuio feeds it to Reddick. Squares up. Jumper. Can't get it to go. We're just over nine minutes to play in the game. VCU 66, Florida Gulf Coast 39. So the Rams by 27 points. They've led by as many as 31. Tuio rebound ahead to Melvin Johnson, the true freshman. Off the glass. Nice soft touch. Yeah, I'm not so I'm not so sure when not so sure that when Verdell saw Melvin Johnson coming down the court, he knew quite what to do. And we talked about how much of a scorer. The freshman guard, Melvin Johnson, is out of the Bronx, New York, right there showing how he can put the ball in the basket quickly. He has seven points in his VCU debut. And you'll see this. This is kind of textbook here with the uh, rebound and outlet. But just a sensational job. There's Johnson and a nice smooch off the glass and in. And there's Priante Weber, another steal, another turnover. Brandenburg tries to get in. Oh, wow. Joe DeMeo, all the way out here at half court, called that a charge. Neither one of the other officials. How does Joe make that call out here at half court? 
I guess he got the senior discount right there and, and, and rang him up. But that was uh, that was quite a reach right there. That was odd. And, and the, the other thing, it was he would be the third <laughs> option for that quadrant too, because you had the primary on the baseline, the secondary at the slot, and he would be the third option. But he wasn't scared to reach out and make it. That, that just that's definitely odd there. He did not hesitate to blow his whistle. But in any event, Rams are up 29. Make it 26 as Thompson knocks down a three. Thompson's been the one consistent guy here for Florida Gulf Coast. He has 15 in the game. Fifth. Six for 12 from the field. 15 points. He's actually the leading scorer in this game. A turnover by VCU. Sherwood Brown going to the hole, the layup. Looked like Bree was going to swat it away, but instead Brown gets the lay-in. Sherwood Brown now has 10 points. So there's two players in double figures for Florida Gulf Coast, but they're still down 24, 68 to 44. Coach Smart, I think, using this as a teaching moment to try to teach him how to play through some spurts by another team. Just under eight minutes ago, Travion Graham rebound stick back. Travion Graham. 13 for Trey. Rams back up 26, 70 to 44. 740 to play in the season opener. Sherwood Brown near the foul line, and they're going to call block on VCU. This will be the under eight dead ball media timeout. Tuio looking to check in. 735 to play. VCU 70, Florida Gulf Coast 44. We'll have more ahead on Ram TV. Better for VCU. VCU basketball on Ram TV is presented by McGeorge Toyota. We earn your trust every day and by Carpool. Check out their new Duck Bucks program. Hustle stats in full effect. VCU is leading by 26, 70 to 44, but it's really been the hustle stats we always talk about. VCU has forced Florida Gulf Coast into 21 turnovers. Rams with 27 points off those turnovers. As a team, VCU has 17 steals. Rodney, when was the last time you saw a team with more steals than assists? Not very often. And, and you know, Briante Weber with eight of those picking right up where he left off. You know, the other hustle stat is rebounding. They are rebounding Florida Gulf Coast by 14 rebounds, Greg. VCU has 17 steals and 18 assists. It's just impressive, as you mentioned. Briante with eight steals all by himself. It's been an impressive night for VCU. We have 7.35 still to play here. VCU 70, Florida Gulf Coast 44. So it's a 26-point lead as Sherwood Brown rattles one around. He was their leading scorer last year. He has struggled a bit tonight. He has 10 points. Thompson has been the leading scorer for Florida Gulf Coast, who has a couple other big games coming up against Miami and Duke. He misses them both. Graham with a rebound. Quickly cross court to Troy Daniels. Oka Rafer gets it down to DJ Haley, who lost the handle. Got kind of knocked away, too. So, DJ, when we go to the line. Oh, it's only a fifth foul there. Oh, yeah, he's going to go to the line, going right? Up, yeah. It's going up. So, DJ Haley. Going the, to the line for the first time tonight. The seven-footer out of Palmdale, California. And Coach Smart loves to tell the story about how they really connected on more of a cerebral level than a basketball level. That, you know, everybody knows Coach Smart loves the inspirational quotes, has a Word document. He types in an inspirational quote every single day. That document is now dozens of pages long. Haley's kind of that type of guy, you know, uh, excellent student, plays the piano, writes poetry, and just a really bright guy. But he has certainly developed into an intense, aggressive, havoc style of basketball player. Yeah, you can't player. help but to, if you go to see one of their practices, it's unbelievable how intense he is. If you don't, you'd, you'd wilt for sure. And uh, I think he's starting to become the player that Coach Smart thought he could be back when he was recruiting him out of California. Rams by 26, 7.15 to play. Baseline there for Thompson. There's Haley with a rebound. Gets it ahead to Daniels. will slow it up a bit. Probably hand it over here to Teddy Okarafer. Seven minutes to play on opening night. VCU by 26, 70 to 44. Travion Graham leading the Rams with 13 points. They give it up to Graham there. He's just abused Sherwood Brown for most of the night. Graham lost the handle, gets it back, gives it up to Okarafer. Sophomore out of London, England. 
Five on the shot clock. Okorafer up and never touched the rim. Could be a shot clock violation, but Gulf Coast ends up getting the basketball, and then they go coast to coast. It was number 35 to Juan Graff, a freshman out of Charlotte, who gets fouled. He'll go to the line. Graff is their backup point guard. Got to play in the Michael Jordan game this year out of Charlotte, North Carolina. They're excited about his future here at Florida Gulf Coast. Again, they've only been playing Division I for a couple of years, so, you know, still in the building, the program mode. VCU 70, Florida Gulf Coast 44. Six minutes and 32 seconds to play, and five new Rams coming in. You know, the, this is a, this is going to be a lineup that could really um, be that lasting impression of the game because you have Theus, Weber, Brandenburg, Guest, and Reddick. It just never stops. I mean, if you're the other team, you think he subs, you're going to get a little bit of a break. It, it's just not happening tonight. Free throw is good there. So it's 70 to 45. It's a 25 point lead for VCU with about six and a half minutes to play in the game. Theus over to Weber. They're trying to trap. Get it across here. Yeah. Get it across the timeline. Theus now. Theus Weber. Brandenburg on the wing. Looks like he's trying to maybe get it down to. Well, Reddick comes out top. Theus. Just over six minutes of play. There's 10 on the shot clock for VCU. Weber with a basketball. Penetrates. Loses the handle. Turnover VCU. Six minutes to play in this game. VCU's up 25 points. Thompson lay in. Thought it was going to get swatted into the fifth row, but Reddick didn't have position, I guess, to do that. It's 70 to 47. Rams by 23. Thompson. Their largest lead has been 31. Thompson with his 17th point of the night, leading all scorers in the game tonight. 5.38 to play. Rams, 70. Gulf Coast, 47. Weber pulls up for the jumper at the foul line, buries it. Briante Weber now has 11 in the game. So how about a double-double of points and steals, Rodney? That's impressive. How many rebounds? He could. He could. He, could. he needs a couple yeah. more steals. See another foul there. That's a unique double-double. That's going to be on Jared Guest, I think. Looks like that's going to be on Jared Guest, his first. Uh, the only one on the floor with, oh, that's in foul trouble, so to speak, is Rob Brandenburg does have four. He hesitates to say trouble because there's 5.19 to play, and the Rams are up 25 points, 72-47. to 47. As Thompson knocks down another, I mean Thompson's had a good night. He's a good player. Yeah, he is. He's, I mean that's his 18th point of the night. He's and he's been very productive. He's seven for 14 from the field. So that's shooting 50 percent from the field against the Ram. That's that that's uh that's something to be said for that. He was the mid-major freshman All-American you referred to during the pregame. Out of Conyers, Georgia. So it's 72 to 48. So this is probably the best stretch points wise that Florida Gulf Coast has had in this entire game because the Rams were up 31 and now the lead is is down to 24. So this is one segment that Gulf Coast has come out ahead but the Rams have just dominated for the majority of this game. They've led wire to wire. They will lead a lot wire to wire tonight. Weber slashes to the bucket up and under and it's good. That's fun to watch. Briante Weber having himself a game. He has 13 points. 74 to 48 is the score. 74 48. VCU with the lead, and that's Thompson again. So that's 20 for him? Yeah, that, that's 21 for him. 21. They counted that as a three. Bernard Thompson. 74 to 51. Rams by 23. With 4.14 to play, Daniels, long three, no, a little short. Rebound. Reddick got tied up, and they're going to, it looks like it's going to go over to Florida Gulf Coast. Last touch by the Rams. It looks like Melvin Johnson's going to check in for VCU. It's certainly been hard to stay sharp here in the second half. I mean, the Rams just blew this thing wide open in the first half, Rodney, as we talked about. I mean, just kind of absolutely imposing their will 
and more specifically their Havoc style of basketball on Gulf Coast. You know, and, and just wave after wave of VCU player. I mean, if you look down the stat sheet and you look at the minutes played by VCU, I mean, almost, you know, to a person, it's right there, you know, equal. Gulf Coast has actually outscored VCU 31-28 so far in the second half. Weber. Oh, Brown really fell hard. Let's make sure he's okay. He bounces right back up. Boy, he was airborne. That looks super scary. Yeah, no good way to come down from that. All right, let's go to break. 3.48 to play in this game. VCU 74, Florida Gulf Coast 51. We'll be back with more Ram TV. Union assists. They assist the Children's Hospital of Richmond at VCU with a donation. So each time the Rams tally and assist, the hospital receives a donation from the Virginia Credit Union. And right now, VCU cranking it up with 19 assists in this game. That's as good as it gets. And uh, when you look at assist to turnover ratio, that's something that VCU is always among the league leaders. Rodney, I'm just going to go out on a limb and say after tonight, VCU will be leading the nation in steals. Is that fair? Yeah, I don't know how any other team could be, could be above us. And, you know, that's been an impressive night. And this with a subpar first, I mean, second half, honestly. I mean, we were talking about during the break, you know, the score during the second half. VCU is actually down 31 to 28. VCU has 18 steals in this game, but I think Shaka Smart's going to be a little frustrated with the way the second half has unfolded as Brown knocks down one and knocks down another. So it's 74 to 53, and Florida Gulf Coast is leading VCU in the second half, 33 to 28, outscoring them. The lead is down to 21. Largest lead was at 31. Largely, that was and another turnover 13, by the Rams. Six. So in the last 10 minutes, the Eagles have outscored the Rams by 10, and there's a turnover, another one. That's going to be turnover number 22 for Florida Gulf Coast. VCU 74, Florida Gulf Coast 53, 329 to play here. Briante Weber finds Melvin Johnson to two on one. Johnson with a floater, it's good. Gosh, Melvin what a Johnson. nice soft touch right there. We talked about all the great guards that have come through VCU over the couple of years, and there's the future right there, Greg. Melvin Johnson out of the Bronx, New York. Rams lead back to 23. Melvin Johnson has nine in this game. Three Rams in double figures. Travion Graham has 13. Briante Weber has 13. Javante Reddick has 10. Rams 76. Florida Gulf Coast 53. It's a 23-point lead with 3.08 to play here on opening night. Next game for VCU will be right back here at the Siegel Center Tuesday night. Wichita State comes to town. Be the third straight year these two teams have played. And look at the Rams tying them up. And a timeout there by Florida Gulf Coast. It's a 30-second timeout. Let's kind of look at the November schedule, Rodney, because, you know, as everyone knows, this is going to be VCU's first year as a member of the Atlantic 10 contest of the Atlantic 10 conference. But November, December is all about non-conference play. They've got Wichita State here on Tuesday night. Then on the 17th, they go to Winthrop, which is not an easy no, game. No, difficult game. And then over the Thanksgiving break, the Rams will have probably their toughest non-conference text. They're going to get Memphis in the Battle of Atlantis. And then they'll play either Duke or Minnesota. So certainly they're going to get uh, three really good non-conference games down there in the Bahamas. Yeah, that's going to be a great tournament. It's going to be exciting to go down there and watch. And, you know, and then the other, the rest of the people in that field is, you know, incredibly tough too. So the third game is not going to be a give me either. And then there's a stretch to begin December where they have Belmont, another Atlantic Sun team that's very good, at Old Dominion, their toughest road game of the year. And then, of course, Alabama and former head coach Anthony Grant they bring the Crimson Tide here to the Siegel Center on December 15th. Loose ball, Rams scoop it up. Briante Weber will pull it back out. Smart, smart play there by Bree. Brandenburg around to Okarefer, feeds it down there to Travion Graham. Muscle play, good. Travion showing why he was, you know, he was one of the top players to watch, putting in his 15th point of the night. Leading the Rams with 15, it's 78-53, and now the Rams, boy, coming out of that timeout, they have just tightened up. 
on D. Brandenburg high off the glass, it's good. This is what Shaka Smart wants to see. This Rams team finish up strong. And, and a timeout by Gulf Coast. It all started by Briante Weber right there with his 10th steal of the night. Briante checking in with a double-double. Briante Weber with a steal. Brandenburg with a soft touch high off the glass, it's good. And yes, Rodney, Briante Weber has a double-double points and steals he is 10 steals tonight the rams as a team have 20 20 steals golly what an impressive night for the rams creating creating havoc all over that's a 6-0 run six straight points by the rams the lead had gone down to 21 now it's back up to 27 80 to 53 we've got two minutes and 16 seconds left to play last year briante weber checked in with 77 steals that's second in a, in a single season record behind a famous famous vcu ram rolando lamb wow so whose that's son. impressive company right there whose son yeah just I think he's playing, so he, with, he's playing with Eric now in Oklahoma City, isn't he? So you said 77 he had last year. 77 last year, yeah. It's a tenth of the way. He's already a tenth of the way there. I mean, it's, I mean, remarkable. Over. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, remarkable. He is fun to watch. He was named Atlantic 10 first team all defense in the preseason. But, I mean, I think there's two or three guys on this team. I mean, Reddit could have laid claim to that. I mean, certainly, certainly Darius Theus no with question. the lockdown guard he is. You know, he might not get some of the defensive stats that Weber gets, but he absolutely controls the game from the defensive perspective, keeping the opposite point guard from doing what they want to do. Weber has checked out of the game now, so it's Okarafer, Johnson, Brandenburg, Tuio, and, uh, yeah, David Hinton has checked in, the other senior. All 10, all player, VCU players getting some time tonight. Brown with a lay-in to stop that 6-0 VCU run. It's 80-55, to 25-point lead. We've got one minute and 45 seconds left in this game. Rams are going to start off the season with a big W here. They've struggled a bit here in the second half. But I think overall, Coach Smart's going to be pleased. Minute 30 left in the game. VCU by 25. David Hinton with a left hand. Can't get it to go. Loose ball. Johnson can't get it. Goes out of bounds, and it'll be Gulf Coast ball. 123 to play. VCU 80. Florida Gulf Coast 55. I think Coach Smart's going to have a great first half to build him up and a little bit of coaching him up to do in the second half. VCU definitely not as clean as they were in the first half, but nonetheless going to get a big W here tonight as Tuyo picks up the block. Exciting days ahead for the VCU Ram basketball program. One minute to play. One minute left here. And a steal there by Brown, who took it away from Oka Rafer. So it's now 80 to 57. And Gulf Coast has outscored VCU 37 to 34 here in the second half. That's probably the one thing, just knowing Coach Smart, that's the one thing he'll focus in on. Yeah, it's going to be a 23-point win, maybe more, but Coach Smart will focus on the things he wants to see the Rams do better. Johnson couldn't get it to go. Tuyo rebound, thought about going back out. Smartly kicks it out. And now the Rams will hold it here. They don't need to shoot it again. And it looks like the Rams are going to win their 10th straight home opener. As Teddy Okarafer dribbles it out. VCU 80, Florida Gulf Coast 57. The Rams will start the 2012-2013 season with a big W here in front of a sellout crowd at the Siegel Center. Travion Graham led the way with 15 points. Reddick had 10, Weber had 13, Brandenburg had 11. So four Rams in double figures. Weber, of course, had a double-double, 13 points and 10 steals. Standing by for head coach Shaka Smart. I think we're also going to hear from leading scorer Travion Graham. Yeah, Weber certainly had a game, too. So we might have a couple of players here, Kelly Lemon, standing by as the teams exchange handshakes here 
an impressive victory for VCU to open the season here, 80 to 57. A 23 point win, but as we mentioned, Coach Smart likely to focus on the fact they got outscored in the second half. All right, let's throw it over to Kelly Levin. She's standing by with a couple of players. Graham, high score tonight. How does it feel? Talk about tonight's game. Oh, um, felt pretty good. Just wanted to come out here and just play my game. That's what I did and came up with a win. During the second half, Weber, you were over here, you were over here, you were all over the place, and you ended up with a double-double tonight. Talk about your performance. Man, I really don't mean, I can't tell. I just play basketball. I just play the fundamentals of the game. So I just do what I do and just be energetic, be Mr. Mr. Havoc. New season, new conference. How are you guys feeling about going into this next couple of games? Real confident, real um. We, we think we can do pretty good in this league. It doesn't really matter the um, competition. I think we can play with anybody. Weber, you're the one to watch, so how are you feeling for the next couple of games? Say again? I said you're the one to watch. How are you feeling for the next couple of games? Um, I'm just ready to play more energetic than ever. This is new season, new habit. Thank you, guys. Good luck. We'll talk to you all Tuesday, okay? All right, Coach, thoughts on the second half of play? Well, second half wasn't as good as the first half, Kelly. But, you know, I thought uh, Florida Gulf Coast did a nice job attacking. Our guys responded at times. We need to be more sharp over a 40-minute game. But it's our first game. We'll learn from it. We'll get better. You got to see everybody play, though. How does that prepare you for, for next week, especially Tuesday night? Well, we need all hands on deck. I think everybody on our roster can play. We want everybody to come in and contribute. But you got to be ready to go when your name is called. So... I think a lot of guys will learn from tonight. There's a lot of people that probably want to play better individually. We'll watch the tape. We'll get better. Congratulations on the win. I'll talk to you Tuesday. Thanks, Kelly. Thank you to Coach Smart, and that is his daughter, Zora. He gets a dap there from new athletic director, Ed McLaughlin. We're going to do a complete recap of all the post-game stats coming up. VCU 80, Florida Gulf Coast 57, a good opening night win for VCU. More coming up here on Ram TV.